y'all, and welcome back to my channel. As you may or may not know, I've been an avid The Sims 2 player for a very, very, very long time. And because of that, I have a downloads folder that is very, very, very big. Yes, I love custom content. Could you guess? But if there's one good thing to come out of my hours and hours of compulsive searching and scouring and diving into the dustiest corners of the interwebs, it's that I've come across a lot of really amazing sites, mods, and default replacements that I really haven't heard very many people talking about. So today, I am going to be changing that by sharing with you a few Sims 2 default replacements you may not have heard about. The first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I just happened to stumble upon by pure chance, and I feel like I need to talk about it. It's obscure, it's one of a kind, and I've not seen anything else like it. I'm talking about the Blurry Skies Default Sky Texture Replacement by Sim Nopke. This completely changes the look of your game by adding detailed skies around all of your neighborhoods that fluctuate between the seasons and the weather, as well as adding a much richer nighttime sky in comparison to the base game texture. Overall, it's lovely, and if you've been looking for a global mod that mirrors a traditional sky globe without the need to place an effects box, I highly recommend this. While we're on the topic of skies, I happened upon another global mod by Lazy Duchess that allows fixed base game clouds that were broken by the season's expansion pack to accumulate on lots without the use of a controller. For this mod to work correctly, you need to head over to Lodius's Tumblr to grab their ring clouds, and while you're there, I highly suggest you grab the rest of the contents on their page, including the neighborhood effects that add daytime and nighttime clouds, cinematic clouds, and stars to your hood. Also of note is that this mod can be used singularly if you prefer a more Maxis match game, or in conjunction with a Blurry Skies default sky texture replacement for a more realistic appearance. Either way, this mod adds a beautiful effect to your game. Speaking of Lodius, we may as well talk about another set of amazing replacements I feel aren't heavily spoken about, and those are the Realistic Sky Objects default replacements. With these, you have the option to choose which type of sun and moon you want to have, from a sun corona to a strange moon, or even to make everything in the sky, including the stars, completely invisible. At the moment, I'm using the Corona Sun and Realistic Moon while keeping my stars intact, but I've also used the original sun in the past and may switch them up down the line whenever I want a smaller but still noticeable difference in my game. Another small but noticeable replacement that will greet you as soon as you open up your neighborhood is the Busy Road Neighborhood Traffic Default Replacement by Cricket. This mod replaces all the cars that appear whizzing along the roads of your hood with much more sleek, detailed, and modernized options. Now, this set does require you to download Cricket's original deco set, but I feel that's a small price to pay for a nice change of pace and, in my opinion, a definite upgrade to the vanilla game. It's definitely worth checking out, especially if you're one of those Sims 2 players who obsessively follows the patterns of the cars driving aimlessly along the roads of your neighborhoods. Which I totally never do. Nope. I'm sure by this point we've all heard of Cricket's gorgeous default replacement linden trees, and with good reason. But how many people have heard of these wonderful birch tree replacements by Six Foot Sims? 
These trees are beautiful, both in neighborhood and in lot view, are fully seasoned, and blend in wonderfully with Cricket's linden trees. Best of all, since Cricket's defaults only replace the oak trees, these birch trees can be used in conjunction with the lindens to make your neighborhood look even more modern and beautiful. These are also one of the newest additions to this list, so be sure to head on over and give these trees some love. I love Seasons in all The Sims games. If ever you ask me which pack I consider to be one of the most necessary to any Sims game, I'll always respond with Seasons. The Sims 2 is no exception, and with the help of some mods, such as the default replacement trees we've just spoken about, the changing seasons in this aging game can still be viewed as beautiful. One other mod that helps accomplish this is the 3 to 2 default snow replacement by IB Sims. With this mod installed, you'll be able to see actual detailed snowflakes as they tumble down from the sky both in neighborhood and in lot view. Even though this is a superior texture to the original snow in the game, the size of the texture is still quite small and shouldn't cause any more lag on your computer than the unmodded snow already does. One of the replacements I consider truly necessary it's the glass replacement by Slig. This overwrites the blue tinted panes of the original windows, doors, and awning, and replaces them with a realistic clear glass. A noticeable difference that I can't recommend enough. There were two specific replacements that I'd been looking for for quite a while, and as luck would have it, I managed to find them both in the very same place. I'm talking about the default mailbox and trash can replacements by Alien Pod. Each come in a variety of colors and manage to look detailed both in the lot and the neighborhood view. The only issue that I found with the mailbox is that it may not fully overwrite the original when you first enter a lot, but the fix is simple. Shift-click on the mailbox, choose Force Errors, and reset it. If any pieces of the old mailbox still manage to cling on to the new replacement, simply delete it with the hammer. A few extra steps, but in my opinion, worth it. Also by Alien Pod is this wonderful default replacement that overwrites the old grimy newspaper from the base game with the crisp custom version. You also have the option to download these additional functional newspaper racks for use at community lots, of which there are two different varieties. The textures of both the newspapers and the racks are wonderful, and they look amazing in game. There is a reason that Alien Pod is one of my favorite creators. One look at the sheer amount of unique default replacements on their page is all that's needed to understand why. Up next on my list are the large pot, frying pan, mixing bowl, food tray, coffee mug, and utensil defaults that are all found conveniently on the very same page. Not only do each of these defaults come in a small assortment of colors for you to choose from, but each one is nicely textured and looks by and far superior to the original meshes of the game. The only exception may be the coffee mug, depending on your tolerance for clipping, but I personally don't mind this minor issue and use them in my game regardless. While we're on the topic of dinnerware, check out these lovely default replacements by Grave Robber. These overwrite the original serving bowl, serving platter, bowl, 
dessert, and dinner plates with a nice variety of bright, solid colors. One of my favorite things about these replacements is that you can mix and match them to include whatever colors you want in your game. These are the replacements I currently use in my game. However, if you're looking for something a little more decorative, I also found a polka dot replacement set that uses those same grave robber meshes as a base and also comes in a nice assortment of colors. What better to put on your shiny new dinnerware defaults than retextured and even more delicious looking foods? For these next defaults, we are heading back over to Alien Pod to take a look at a few replacements that will make you want to jump through your computer screen and steal them right from under your Sims' noses. The pancakes, cereal, and frozen dinners have all been defaulted and each come with two different versions. I personally use the strawberry pancakes, the original cereal, and the broccoli TV dinner, but I may switch them up down the line. Overall, I'm very satisfied with how these look in my game. Speaking of food, let's head over to Two Fingers Whiskey and snatch up our next replacements. The cookies, chips, juice, and instant meal have all been replaced with much more detailed textures, complete with nutritional facts and the optional English or Simlish fonts. Each brings a much more modern and colorful appearance to your game, and just adds even more detail to the amazing, but aging, second edition to the series. Of course, it would be pretty callous of me to recommend all of these tasty new treats for your sims without talking about this awesome replacement by Gummy Lut. Not only is this a retexture of the original box, but it's also a global mod that requires the box to be on the lot in order to feed your furry friends, as opposed to just pulling it out of thin air at will. I find this much more realistic and satisfying, and it also gives me a reason to send my sims to the pet store to restock for their feline and canine companions. My next recommendation is the Bunch of Defaults by Pineapple Forest on Mod The Sims. These include the Little House Lantern, Garden Glow Spotlight, Mountain Man's Mountain Lighter, Secure Sentinel, Dynasty Enlightenment Lamp, Hydroponic Garden, Amazing Hedge, Wild Bamboo, Spider Lily, your Biggest Fan Palm, Modart New Deco Mirror, On the Pedestal, Shoo Shoo Lion, Chunky Wedding Ring, Bar Bottle, Bar Glass, Water Glass, and Bar Tray. That's a bunch of defaults, hence the name. Not to mention the fact that the Bar Bottle, Glass, and Tray each come in a variety of colors and textures for you to choose based on your own personal preferences. Now we are going to be heading over to Eddie Sims for a replacement overhaul. First up, Better Bubbles, which replaces the chat, thought, and yell headline bubbles with much cleaner and detailed textures. Next up is the Custom Computer Screens Default Replacement, which replaces all PC screens with art done by Eddie Sims. It's also suggested to snatch up the University Term Paper add-on by Hexagonal by Pyramid, as well as the Lighten Up Brighter Computer Screen mod on Mod The Sims for maximum effect.
Now, let's head on over to Moopy to grab our next few replacements. The first is the default art replacement, which replaces the artwork your sims ordinarily paint with these beautiful watercolor paintings. Definitely an improvement over the atrocities committed in the name of art that originally graced the easels of Creative Sims The Hood Over. The second by Mubi are these default replacements that overwrite all the bedding for every expansion and stuff pack in the game. From plain to pizzas, from feathers to flamingos, there's a style for everyone, and they're all a welcome addition to my game. For our last defaults, I direct you toward the website of Peppermint and Ginger. First up are the Greener Gardens, Parts 1 and 2, which are sets of bush default replacements that replace the original, unsatisfying textures and dull colors of some of the game's shrubbery with more detailed and colorful versions. Next up are the default replacements of some posters and paintings, which come in a variety of modernized and sleek designs that bring even more detail and color into your game. The fact that all the written posters are in Simlish as opposed to English is also, in my opinion, beneficial, since it can be difficult at times to find objects with Simlish font. Also on Peppermint and Ginger are the video games and magazine default replacement racks. They are retextured and recolored with recognizable game titles and sleek magazine covers, and they each come in either white or black. And last but not least is the default replacement for the Maxis Game Simulator. Gone is the horrible greenish hue of the original, now replaced with this chic beast that would be a welcome addition to any home. It may be small, but in my eyes, it's just another necessary step in taking this old game out of 2004 and bringing it into 2021. And that wraps up my list for default replacements you may not have heard about. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, leave a comment for any questions or suggestions you might have, and subscribe to the channel to bring more Sims 2 related content or drama infested let's plays into your daily routine. As always, thank you all so much for watching and for supporting the channel. It means a lot to me, and I cannot thank you enough. Until next time, guys. Bye!